And and the whole book was on the bottom shelf in this library. Yeah. There are nearly six hundred images on this USB drive. Yeah, um, documents, drawings, maps, and charts. Do you know where these documents come from? Look, I don't even know where the book came from. Somebody put it where it was unlikely to ever to be found. Well, for good reason. These scanned documents come from the Vatican secret archives. That there is the papal seal. These are from the greatest library of today. It was started in the 8th century. The popes have been adding to it ever since. Everything from state papers to the papal accounts. Whoa. Hey, according to this document, Pope Sixtus IV nearly had Leonardo da Vinci burnt at the stake for heresy. <laughs> Is this for real? What the, have I found? The real deal. Can you drop box the USB to me? Look, it's already on its way. Excellent. But look, let's back it up. Let's back up the backup. That USB drive was meant for us. The USB drive belongs to us. <laughs> hey. Don't even think about it. CCTV all around. And the content's already been dropboxed away anyway. This is more than just less property. This is history. And history belongs to the people. You don't know what you've got. Oh, we know that we've got something incredible. This is history that no one's ever heard of. You've got something that will get you both killed. Who scanned all these documents? <laughs> you were jacked. <laughs> Probably one of the archives and conservationists. To scan this many documents I means an inside job, not an outside researcher. Why would anyone want to keep these documents secret? Yes, why? But the archive administrators might not know that this information even exists. The archives contain oh, more than 80 kilometres of shelving. And back in the mid-centuries, they were moved to France, and on the way back, they probably got jumbled up. So who's spilling the beans? Yeah, the Vatican archives would appear to have their answer to Edward Snowden. <laughs> Whoa. Do you think that this Edward Snowden made this shady withdrawal out of the goodness of his heart? I doubt it. This USB drive was left hidden in plain sight because well, the content's been stolen and it's now on the open market. Also, this drive could be just a sample. It could be a whole lot more documents scanned and up for sale. Yeah, a potential buyer could be simply wanting to verify the veracity of the goods before money exchanges hands. And the seller did not want to be identified. That's why he put the USB drive into the fake book and left it in an isolated section of the library. Probably last night, just before the library closed. <laughs> I wonder how much this lot is going for. Probably one hell of a price.